welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, hello, nice to meet you. If you have seen me before, welcome back. So in my last video, I did do a little haul of what I got. And in this video, I'm gonna be trying out those things. So first things first, I need, first things first on the list, drop this, not the whole world, fill it. I'm gonna just put my hair back in my cheeky little clothes hairband, not sponsored, wish it was. And then first things first, I'm gonna actually try um, this e.l.f. Paula's Putty Primer. I've heard so many good things about it. This is what it looks like. And I'm, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm very excited. Let me just get a mirror. I'm not sure how much to take. Oh, it's very smooth. I'm just gonna apply. I'm gonna read the directions, actually. That would make a lot of sense. She'd be so smart. It says, apply a thin, even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup vaccination. I've already prepped and primed my skin, so that's fine. Um, allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. So I'm just gonna rub this in. It definitely feels different to the other primers I normally use, probably because it's not silicone based. Very smooth. Oh, okay, this is a water-based primer. I haven't actually tried a water-based primer before, so. I'm excited to see how this sits on my skin. That's what it looks like, nice and dewy. So, I've decided to change it a bit today. I'm gonna try this, which is the Bourjois City Radiance Skin Protecting Brightening Effect Foundation. So it's anti-pollution screen, SPF 30. I mean, not that there's any sun in the UK, but still. And Radiance Boosting Pigments. It says fresh and even complexion. I've never tried anything this light, but I'm excited to see how it looks, like this light of coverage. A bit nervous, but we move. Okay, so as you can see, um, you know what? I feel like we got off to a very concerning start. I feel like I was very concerned and scared when I first started putting this on. It's not the best coverage, but then it literally says on it, it's like coverage. So uh, <clears throat> what can I expect? When it said it was radiant, it didn't lie. Like, I feel like this is nice because all my makeup's quite matte and then I put on like a, a load of highlighter. And I feel like this is nice. It's just weird seeing me so glowy i feel like i do like it though like i was i won't lie at the start i was I, I you probably saw the last clip i started putting it on and i think i thought oh my god because this is in the shade ivory well rose ivory which is number one and to be fair it's getting to that time of the year now she pale she doesn't want to admit it but she's pale she's trying to salvage every last bit of that tan she had in summer but she can't she she's not that time of year. But I feel like I'm not mad at it. I'm, I, this is nice, especially for like every day. I think this is definitely really pretty for like Chloe stuff. Then I'm gonna go in with this concealer that I haven't actually used before. It's NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. And this shade is vanilla. It just looks like this. So this is what it looks like, all blended, and I, re I really, really like it. Like, I've never ever worn a foundation this glowy, just because my nose is like quite oily, so I wouldn't. I really like it though. Has she found a new possible fave? I'm really surprised at this. Bourgeois. So I'm here with my normal powder now, which is the Aiken Blot in White by Revolution. I'm just gonna kind of go over the problem areas. I still haven't found um, a problem, a, a problem, a solution to my under eye creasing situation. 
If anybody has any tips, please feel free to throw them my way because she needs it. I'm just gonna put a bit of powder on the nose. Just a wee bit. I feel like that is looking a lot better. Like the glow is in the places it needs it, but then the places that need to be like matte, like this area. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm very surprised. I'm very pleased. Next video on my usual contour and bronzing situation. So that is my contour done. Please excuse the clip before. I was just adjusting my um, ring light because my mom said in the last video it made me look really pale and then I was noticing it a lot then, especially because this is a paler foundation. So I was trying to fix it and then it got a bit too warm. So I'm just going to go in with my usual, which is the Pink Lady Blush Over Dirty by Revolution. And just go in. highlight today purely because I obviously don't need to because of this foundation I'm so impressed she be glowing and I don't want to look like the tin man but I'm just gonna add a little bit from this palette just to just because I can just because it's me and I love highlight and I can have a really dewy foundation on and still want highlight because that's who I am Literally love that. I actually I can't believe this. I mean those eye creases are just somewhere else. They just won't not crease and I just don't know how to deal with that. But oh my god. I don't think I've liked a base this much in a while, like Okay, okay, pop off. Now I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna try and use this pencil from Elf, and then I'm gonna use the mascara. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a little pencil and just fill it underneath it like I normally would. Okay, to work a bit more. I don't wanna press too hard because I'm scared because I'm just not used to this. Just, I don't want to fill them in like I normally do. I just kind of want to make a a clear sort of line like that. I'm going to blend it out in a minute, don't worry. So I just kind of want it to have like a, a line at the bottom just so I can see like where, like so I get more defined where my eyebrow starts. Um, if I didn't tell you before, this is in the shade Natural Brown, Natural Brunette, or whatever it is. And I'm just going to brush that through, make it a bit more blended. Okay, I like that. I feel like that matches my eyebrow colour really well, actually. Like perfectly so that's good okay and then i'm gonna just scary bit i'm gonna use this incredi brow tinted brown mascara do i do it should i try to do the fluffy brow thing so i'm just gonna get closer so i know they push their brows oh my god i mean at least it shows i have fluffy brows right <laughs> jesus christ oh no this is what I mean. I just, mm, I feel like it makes my brows look more bushy than they need to. So I feel like if I just, do I just 
leave it like that like i don't know what i'm doing that is that it is that how i am i in with the crowd now i'm scared i feel like i don't hate it but i don't love it please ignore this massive spot on my head it came up yesterday don't know why but it's just very rude I feel like it makes my brows look massive, like ridiculous. <clears throat> I mean, at least if I don't try, I'll never know. I feel like it just makes my brows look massive. Like they look huge. She's thick. And then I'm just gonna go over my um, arch with this pencil, just because I feel like that's a place that lacks sort of color. And does kind of need a little bit of help. Right, okay. And then I'm just gonna blend the arch a bit with this spoolie. Don't wanna take out all that. Brown mascara I've just put in. I mean, what do we think? Can you leave a comment down below what you think? Because I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's because I've just got no eye makeup on right now, but I just feel. I don't think they're cute and I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna just clean up underneath and then we'll come back and I'll see if my opinion's changed. Right, okay, I've just, I've literally just finished like, um, carving them. I feel like I do like them, I do. I think I just need to put up my eyebrows. Now I've neaten them off it, I do think they look a bit cuter. Like before, I think I just looked a bit, I looked a bit scary. But I do actually think they're not, I don't hate them, they're not bad. They're cute, okay. Well, I'm very surprised today. I'm more and more surprised as this video goes on, I won't lie. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do my eyes off camera just because Everything I'm going to be using my eyes, I've either used before or I use all the time. Um, and I just kind of want to give it a little break from my eyeshadow looks. I will post maybe a little TikTok or whatever, show my eyeshadow look. But yeah, I'm going to come back and then I'm going to show you what I think of this. So I have just done my eyes. I Today I decided to go for the Ariana Grande um, positions eyeshadow look. I don't know if you've seen it, it's all over TikTok at the moment. So I did film a cheeky little video. Um, yeah, I'm a fan. I enjoy this. I think it's cute. Um, I did stick some eyelashes on because it just wasn't complete without it. Like she do be, she do be extra, and that's okay. Now I'm gonna try my last few things. I want to try the lip oil because I've seen a lot of lip oils at the moment. Like I just thought I'd get a cheap one just to kind of see what I think. I've never heard of, it's clearly a new thing. I've never heard of anything like it. So I think what I'm gonna do first is line my lips and then I think I'm gonna just use this. So I'm gonna go in with my normal liners. I think I'm gonna go with my Spice lip pencil and then my Little Mix pencil. So I'm gonna go on Spice on the outside. lip oil this is the you do you they had a few different colors but i just like it for this one this is like a i don't know if you can see it like a slightly pinky one it smells really good it smells minty but i think this would be really good for like the winter months when 
and your lips start getting like dry and cracked. I think it'd be way better than like, obviously using a normal lipstick, but. Why are the corners of my mouth look weird? But that is how it looks on. Um, that's just with this lip combo. You could just do it with your natural lips. I really like how shiny this is. Like this is like ridiculous. She's feeling the shine today, kids. And then what I am gonna do before I finish is I'm going to use, I'm so excited about this, this spray. It smells mm, really nice, that kind of fruity. And I'm just gonna and let that dry. And because it is a mattifying one, hopefully it will just stop me from looking more shiny than I want. Like I want shine, but I don't want too much. Um, it smells really good. I'm hoping it obviously does the job, but this is the end makeup look. I'm really, really happy. I think it's really cute. And um, the eyes make me feel very 60s. It's cute though. So guys, this is the finished look. I just wanted to use a few of my new bits, show you how they work, show you how they look. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. I definitely think I'm glad I bought all of these and I will definitely continue to use, especially this foundation. I'll see how the setting spray and the primer hold up, but I'm really excited about them. Yeah, I think they're really cute. Um, and if you were curious about any of these products and you wanted to buy them, I'll link them all below. Um, but yeah, that is the end of today's video and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon. Bye.